That's pretty absolutely. cool to be able to speak to. And, and music is a language, right? It, it is, is, right? Yeah. So being the master, the MC, being the guy who's who's making it, making it happen, you get to to speak to the crowd in a very particular way, yeah. right? So you you got to read them too. Yeah. yeah. What's that? What's that like? How, how do you, how do you how do you read a group and decide what it is you want to come at them with? So a friend of mine, um, Doug. We so when I was at at um, Bar Poet. Yeah. I mean, not was. I still am at Bar Poet, but Doug Mon- would, Mondays. Mondays, yeah. Mondays. Doug would come by, and he's like, all right, who's your heat check? So we, what we do is we call someone the heat check. We'll pick kind of like the specific group that we see, okay, you know what? They're grooving. They're having a good time. Let's play to them a little bit more okay. and see, you know, how will they uh, vibe with this. And if they start vibing, well, other people start vibing. Okay, so we've got that table vibing. We've got that table. That one, not so much. You know, what if I drop this? Oh, I see a head. Okay, let me play something that may get them going. Okay. So you try, to, you try to read the crowd and adjust. Um, I had something similar. Um, I was playing at Bangarang one night. Yeah. And there was a 50th birthday party. So they're in the back, you know, kind of just dancing. But I was playing all the new stuff, though. Uh, so they're, you know, kind of dancing because, you know, they want to, you know, be with all the young kids. They had a group <laughs> of the women, maybe like 20, 21, at the front of the stage. Yeah. And they're dancing. But when I get them dancing, the 50th birthday party's not dancing. Ah. When I get them dancing, that group's not dancing. Okay. And when that group is dancing, there was one girl particularly, just eye contact. And you care. I can see it. You care. You, 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 you want everyone to be up dancing. Oh, you want everybody to be up dancing. Yeah. So I think for like that instance, I think that was the first time I did this uh, mashup where I played um, Justin Bieber's Sorry. Because I had this is before like Serato Stems were a thing, so you could just make mashups on the fly. Yeah. I had uh, Justin Bieber's Sorry. I had the acapella. And I ended up throwing that on top of Dancing Queen. Oh, sick. So, you know, you know, everybody loves Dancing Queen as it is. So I'm like, all right, I know this will for, definitely get everybody dancing, but let me play the Justin Bieber and get those, that, that young group dancing first and kind of like this, like that, that would be the warm up to when I drop this. And when everything just dropped and you have, you hear Justin Bieber's sorry over the, 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 cor- the chorus over Dancing Queen, that 50th table went crazy. Everyone just goes, I'm like, all right, I'm going to put that one in my pocket <laughs> and use that for future reference. So Love it. Yeah, you, just, you just have to kind of pick and choose and like, all right, how can I, you adjust and on the fly and try to make things a little bit different for everybody. 